In this sheet metal tutorial, we will learn how to make this part by using the hem feature in sheet metal. So let's begin. First, select file, click on new, select part, and then click OK. Change the background to plain white here. And in this video, we are not going to use the sketch option. Okay, so we have to select this sheet metal. So let me show you if you do not have this sheet metal available so how you can make this available so you have to right click here and go to tabs here and here you have to find the sheet metal click this and here is the sheet metal now in order to make the sketch we have to select this base flange command and here we have to specify some plane so specify here top plane now select your center rectangle click at this origin and make a rectangle now specify the dimension by using this smart dimensioning tool specify the length of this line as 250 millimeter and after that select this line and set the dimension to 150 millimeter and now we have to check this box and simply exit the sketch without going to extruded ball space this option is automatically available here we have to specify the thickness and then simply check this box so we have this 3d part available now specify some appearance you can specify any appearance you like so in steel i am specifying this one okay and now simply select this hem command and in this window we have to select this edge and here you can see the profile of the hem so we have multiple options if we select this option it will start from the corner so select this one and we have four options available uh, for the types of the hem so select this first one and here you can see the profile so this is the first type of the hem and you can change the length of this type by specifying the length from here so specify your 20 and then click enter now right click at this option and click edit feature select this edit option and here drag this point up to here and this point up to here select smart dimensioning tool and now let's specify the length of this line 100 mm from this point to this point you have to specify the length so let's specify here as 75 millimeter check this box and click on this finish option and that's how you can change the length the size and position orientation of this hem and here we are done with the first type of the hem so now move on to the second type select hem here and select this edge so the second type of the hem is automatically selected here you can specify the position of the hem and here you can change the parameters of the hem these are basically the length and the height of this hem and here you can see the profile of this second type of hem and here you specify rectangular and by default this cut has a specified parameter as one so i will show you when the cut will be appeared uh, select edit option and similarly drag these points now select the smart dimensioning tool specify the length of this hem as 80 from this point to this point specify the length again specify as 35 millimeter and select here finish and let me show you where the cuts are appeared so here you can see the cuts of 1 mm okay 
so the, uh, we are done with the, the second type of the hem so now let's move on to the third type select the hem option and select this edge select this third type and here you can see you can change these parameters check this option and now select the hem again select this edge and here specify the fourth one so this is the last type of the hem the fourth one so you can edit these by changing the position of these points select here finish and this hem is looking too much smaller so right click at this hem go to edit features and now change these parameters this is basically the radius so change it to 10 and for degree change it to 300 let me show you how this degree changes so decrease this and see the profile of the hem now specify here 250 degree and here specify 7 millimeter for the radius and then click ok and now we are done with the four types and now select this flat command this one and that's how we use the hem feature in sheet metal so if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you